but um, yeah, uh, this is just something that uh, that you have to accept, people. Uh, this is not something that is possible. That you know. Once you become a Christian, that you're gonna suffer harsh persecution. Uh, this, this is not what I'm trying to tell you, people. I'm saying that if you are a Christian, you will have to suffer harsh persecution. Uh, and uh, this is something to accept. You know that not everybody's gonna like the fact that you're actually preaching the gospel. You know, there's a lot, there's plenty of people that hate you because for no reason. You know, man, people are are bitter through uh, through their own life experiences about what you know bless God what concluded them to believe that that's how God is and uh that, that was just the devil's work people uh I, I've uh I've spoken about this in my post before that uh that the devil likes to attribute his work to God's and uh if you just pray for God's will in your life you, it'll manifest and you'll be able to see what he want what how he actually is you know and and many people don't uh they don't have that uh that type of knowledge and, and that type of knowledge is the reason why it keeps them away from from God because they think that God is a, a the type of individual you know that he's he's a punisher I mean well yeah you know he he is he is a punisher but at the same time God is smart as well you know he's actually intelligent so he knows how much is overkill and how much is not overkill and uh uh you know it's basically letting the enemy get away with the things that they shouldn't get away with. And uh, uh, just, I encourage you uh, to definitely pray to God uh, for His will in your life and uh, to see what he, what he actually, you know, what He wants to do to you. You may get healed of something that you didn't think you would get healed of. I got healed of something uh, a, couple of, a couple of days ago, like two days ago. Uh, and... Um, and yeah, I got healed of it. I got, I got, well, essentially, I got delivered from it. So, um, so yeah, I got, I got delivered from that. And, uh, and yeah, um, but this isn't what I was talking about the post. I was, the whole reason I'm talking about this right now, even on live, is because, um, all right, the fact that there's millions of people are going to go to the lake of fire, if not billions. And that's that's because uh, people just don't pray, you know. But at the same time, too, uh, you have to remember what Paul said. He said himself, the Apostle Paul, uh, he said himself that the gospel is not in the knowledge, but it's in the power. So, uh, it is, uh, how do I say it? Um, you notice how you go to all these churches and they're just preaching... Uh, they're just preaching a whole bunch of just words, and they're just empty words. They're just preaching to you empty words that haven't. They're not doing anything, but people and and First Corinthians fourteen it tells you the order of the church, how it's supposed to be, and this is Paul as the Holy Spirit was giving the revelation to him how he wanted the churches to be. This is not supposed to change, people. This is supposed to be forever, for eternity. If God doesn't change, obviously this is the order that God wanted, that, that it was, it's approved by God to do. Yeah, to be walking into a, a, a congregation that's filled with the Holy Spirit of power. Because if, if you actually have a congregation full of the Holy Spirit of power, unbelievers are going to come in and they're going to be, you know, they're going to realize that there's actual power to this stuff and that's what's going to not even attract people. But it's what uh, is what opens the people's minds to realize that this stuff is real and everything everything in the scriptures is true. But people don't people don't people don't have power, so they don't have anything in their church but just words. So it's just a bunch of hot air, and that's it. And uh, uh, you know the people who are scared uh, to to preach about power, or the people who are scared to preach about the healings or people who are scared to do those types of things just to actually you know submit themselves to God and to actually follow the order that Apostle Paul said you know obviously something's fishing and something's going on but the if you go to to a to a congregation where uh, you know there's healings and there's types of things to there's a lot of things to be taken into consideration when you go into these types of uh, churches I mean, for one thing, the devil also, I mean, I'm not even sure if he actually does it or whatever it is, but I know personally through the revelation that was given to me that if you accept the false prophets, 
uh, gifts, like their healings or whatever it is, you accept their punishment as well, people. So if you accept what they're prophesying to you and it believes and it manifests in your life, you accepted a curse from the devil. So essentially, that, that whatever blessing that you took that's written in the book... It's written in a book that you took that that you took that uh that you took that blessing, but it's written in the book in the kingdom of darkness. So at the great white throne judgment, they'll be able to look. God will be able to look and see like, yeah, your name is right here. You took this gift. He never asked me to blot it out. He never asked to give it back. You took this gift from the kingdom of darkness, and so obviously it belongs to the kingdom of darkness. So you belong to the kingdom of darkness. So you would go to the lake of fire for that type of stuff, for taking a gift that is from uh, the kingdom of darkness, people. This is not something that's supposed to be taken lightly, though, because this is life or death. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, my nose is kind of stuffy. Uh, so whether it is that, that, you, that you took a gift... So you could be able to preach the gospel better. You took a gift for 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 hair. You took a gift for for whatever it is whatever it is that you wanted. You took a gift uh, for singing, uh, t for for athleticism to make yourself look manlier. Uh, t to uh, to have a, a marriage that that is blessed under under the devil. People, you will go to the lake of fire. You and your wife. Don't do that to your wives, people. But. Uh, yeah, people, this is important that you ask God right now to blot your name out from there and tell God that you're sorry with, you know, with obviously, uh, you know, with pure, with not even pure contrition, but honest contrition with an honest heart, contrition with an honest heart and purity of heart, that you're able to, you know, tell you God, you know, that you're sorry for even doing that. And, uh, and uh, you have to apologize for having a different spiritual experience because many people have that type of stuff, people. Many people have that. Uh, many people take gifts unknowingly. They accept false prophecies, uh, false prophecies, and this is through ignorance because they think that they think that God God is pleased with his last generation, but he's not pleased. He's not trying to. He, you know, he 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 essentially wants to. You know, if you guys can read yourselves, people, I don't have to be the, the, the person that you go that you piggyback right all the way to heaven. I wouldn't even let you. I'd be like, nah, get off me. But um. But the the gospel is empowered people, and many many individuals they have this uh you know they're they're paranoid or they're scared they they don't know what to think or they they're like well how do I know this person is, is approved by God? Uh, trust me, yeah. When a person is approved by God, you'll know that the person is approved by God. Uh, many people sometimes if you have the Holy Spirit, whatever it is, you'll you'll get uh like uh, not even a nudge. But you'll feel, not even feel something. I mean, me personally, I would, like, I, you know, I'll, I'll hear the Holy Spirit, but I don't realize that it's the Holy Spirit. So I'll be like, well, um, you know, it's not that you get a feel. I don't know, everybody's different, but the point of this is that your people don't accept any of the false prophecies, uh, prophets or uh, gifts. No matter if it's prophecies for your life, no matter if it's them trying to tell you, uh, go go to God first, people. Go to Jesus Christ first before you're even praying. Uh, if the if the false prophets prophesy something to you, go to the go to the God first. Go to Jesus first to explain wh what is actually going on, so He could tell you. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, you don't have to essentially uh, damn yourself by accidentally taking one of these gifts. And then by the by the time it's a great white throne judgment, you're like, but Dad. Or but that or or whoever you know, uh, but I I wanted I, I didn't know and and all this other stuff. Uh, but nah. Uh, I honestly uh, don't don't let these other individuals uh take anything from you, people. That's stuffed. That's stealing. That's grounds for murder. That that's the penalty of that is well is death, you know, but. But uh, you know you have to bless those that curse you and and, and pray for those that, that 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 persecute you, even relentlessly. But uh, 
Yeah, I I think that's about it, people. I don't really think I have anything else to say other than the fact that it's in the power, that it's not in anything else. Uh, You know, there's a lot of jealousy in the church, people, and this is an abomination because of who they're doing it to, but I can't really do anything about it because, you know, I'm not God. Uh... Uh, man, I, I still have to say more though, but, uh, yeah, God bless you.